Welcome everyone to the new Fly Fisher. I'm your host Bill Spicer. On this week's show, we're back in Algoma country at KB Lake visiting KB cabins. Our quarry for this week, pike. And when I say pike, I mean big pike. We'll talk about the flies, the equipment, and the technique. Everything you want to know in order to catch pike. It's going to be a great show, so stay with us. We'll be right back. The new Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Algoma Country, That Real. Ontario, yours to discover. Orvis Sporting Traditions. Islander Precision Reels. Rail Riders Outdoor Clothing, the toughest clothes on the planet. Net Staff, the world's first wading staff and net. This week, the new fly fisher host and producer Colin McEwen travels with me to KB Cabins in beautiful northern Ontario. Located on 25 mile long KB Lake, approximately 40 minutes by air from the town of White River. KB Lake is renowned for its numerous islands and bays and it provides ideal structure for walleye and pike. We've had a number of cold fronts pass through in the last few days and this will make fishing extra challenging. We'll have to experiment with different techniques and flies to have success. Our guides in this trip are lodge owner Stuart Agage and his son Kenny Agage. Both of these men have spent many hours guiding on this lake and are quite used to having fly fishers in the boat. Drifting by the shoal, and we're just throwing some black leech patterns. And the bonus is, you might even catch a walleye here. It's the same area, and the same reason why the pike are here is why the walleye are here. The pike are here to eat the walleye. It's funny, I was just at the end, just getting ready to finish pulling in my line, and this guy hit, and it's fighting really well. Whoa, don't know what it is. And it's a pike, yeah. And uh, a lot of people don't realize this, but pike love leeches. The big leeches I'm talking about. Four, five, six, seven inch leeches that inhabit a lot of these northern lakes. They eat them. And they'll eat a lot of them. I've got a friend who's cleaned pike and found 15 or 20 of them in a pike's stomach. So if you use a big black leech, that's not a bad fish. It's not huge, but it's my first fish here. All right. Nice chunky northern. Oh, he's already ready to go. Oh, yeah. All right. Great. Thanks, uh, Ken. Oh, yeah. So let me quickly show you this fly, because most people go, no way. Fly you'd associate catching walleye with, or or big pike, or a big uh, bass, excuse me. You can see how long that is. That's about seven, maybe eight inches long. Single hook. It works with a wire leader. Just go real slow. I've been, over, over the years, I've been to quite a few different lodges, and, and uh, we found this place, and, and they by far have the best equipment. You know, it's unheard of, I think, to see a 25 horse motor with electric start on a 16 foot Lund boat. It's just a, a 
great uh, fishing experience. They're stable in the water. So that brings us back and, and uh, the people here take good care of us. And the cabins are always clean and, uh, and they, they cater to you. Anything you want to do, uh, you, know, you just tell them and they're, they're there to, to help you out and, and give you what you need when you need it. And, and, uh, it's a great experience. I come here because of the, the quality of fish actually. It's, it's got in, in the past years with the, not only with our working with the, the slot sizes, but the people themselves that are fishing here are, are letting a lot of the bigger fish go back to, to spawn and to get bigger and the variety of fish that they'll catch, like uh, you can catch anywhere from small walleye to large walleye, from uh, small pike to large pike, perch, you know, it's, it's an amazing fishery out there. We have probably 80% of our clientele um, have their reservations booked for the next year before they leave, uh, mainly because they, they have enjoyed their experience so much and they want to ensure that they have a spot for the next season. A nice big walleye. <laughs> big walleye. <laughs> I love it. I can see him coming. Lead him right over to you. Wow. Now, we've been after pike, but there are so many walleye in this lake that uh, they'll take your pike flies too. I wasn't going after walleye, and actually they were, he was in a spot that I fully expected pike to be in. You're looking for structure. Even in the springtime, you look for structure. So we found rocks. We tried the weeds earlier, not working, so we're over with rocks. Oh, right there, big pike, right there. Mowing? He sees it. Got it. Isn't that just wonderful? I saw this pike come right up beside the boat and he wasn't very much afraid. So I thought, why not just try to put the fly beside him? <laughs> Isn't that something? And we got him. All right. Just a small, small pike, but uh, right beside the boat, and he took the took the fly. Okay, hey, he'll go and salt for a little while. Yeah, he'll be fine. Wow. For the most part, when you go pike fishing, large red and white bucktail streamers work really well. But on this trip, for me, the best pattern was a large perch pattern. Colin, however, had a lot of luck on his black bunny leech. One of the main reasons why we have people coming to our lodge, one of the first reasons is our equipment. Um, we offer the 25 horse electric start motors with the 16 foot Lund flat bottom boats. And we, customers tell us that that's the main reason why they'll, they will first try our lodge and they will return to us because of the service we give them. And we've been told that many, many times. The American Plan meals at Agache's KB Cabins are nothing short of outstanding. 
home cooked and delicious and leaving the table hungry is frowned upon. But if you want, come and cook your own meals as they have a housekeeping plan that will fit your budget. Fish on. Fish on, yes. This might be a walleye. I think it is. It's another good sized walleye. Yeah. Okay. Surprised he's where he was. Now I squashed the barb down. You should have no problem getting it. <laughs> Yep, give us a chance to... Now this lake is just teeming with walleye, and this is what's feeding the big pike. There he goes. Very nice. All cabins are fully furnished and sleep between two to eight people comfortably. They have full-size propane refrigerators and stoves. All cooking and dining utensils are included, hot and cold water with toilets and showers. All towels, linens, pillows and blankets are included, along with daily maid service. The previous day's fishing had been tough due to the numerous cold fronts that had passed through. The next morning the water was calm, so I thought I'd try a surface fly. My choice was a large popper. There we go. Yes, sir. <laughs> Not very big, I don't think. But on a popper, <laughs> which makes it really exciting. Oh, he's not bad. He's not bad. Not huge, but he's not bad. <laughs> and into the net. Good man. <laughs> now these are tarpon poppers. They're quite large and they move a lot of water. Good. I'll hold them up for the camera there. Man. And away it goes. Now, popper fishing, this is this is the morning right now. We had some rain last night and the water is pretty much calm right now. So I was thinking, well, we've seen a few rises of fish and, and I'm thinking, well, maybe they're taking near the surface. So I threw on a popper and it paid off. Nothing like popper fishing, that's for sure. The setup for Pike was a floating line to a 5 foot section of T14 sinking leader. Attached to that was 2 feet of 20 pound test monofilament and a must have is another 18 inches of nautable wire bite tippet and then the fly. The nautable wire bite tippet is a must when fishing Pike. Got him, got him, yeah, did get him, only a small one. Oh, good. He let go. It was just a small one, hammer handle, didn't want him. But what I'm, I'm doing, we're, we're working along the shoreline and finding any structure I can. Uh, we got a down log here, we got some grass weeds here. Anywhere that you feel that the fish can hide, that's where you want to be. Oh, got him. Got him. Yeah. Oh, this, this, this feels better. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this one. is a good fish. Got him. Yes, sir. Yeah, oh, right perch right. pattern worked. Good fish, good fish. Got a bit of structure over there with a log, and oh, yeah, this is a good fish. Oh, yeah. No, oh, he's not even near, yeah. near ready. Oh, okay, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, yes! Yes! I knew they'd be here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! Yes, yes, yes! Okay. 
There's what it's all about. Pike fishing at his best. Tremendous. Now the retrieve I'm using is, is like a strip jerk type of a retrieve. Uh, it's making the fly go sideways almost like a wounded uh, perch. And that's what we have mainly in here is, is perch. So what I've been doing is I, I cast out, and not very long. I'm not mega casting at all. Just you know, get out there into some structure, and then I jerk and strip it in. Jerk, strip it in. Jerk, strip it in. Just like that. Twitching the end of the rod back, and you get quick little bursts like a wounded perch. And these fish are opportunists. They, they won't pass up a good meal like that. He grabbed it and ran at me. Now this one's staying down. I can't seem to move him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, taking up line. Oh yeah. Mm. Now he grabbed it and ran right at me so I, I was thinking that he missed it and I was going to try for him again. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. I just seen his tail. Cause you just seen his tail? Yeah. I haven't seen him yet. I just seen swirling waters. Very good. Oh yes, another good fish. Another good, good fish. Oh yes. Big fish. Big fish. He's dictating to me where he wants to go right now. And I'll try to lead him to you, Stu. Okay, then we'll look closer. And oh, yes. <laughs> Another, Another big, big fish. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, what a fish. What a fish. Oh, I'm telling you, what a fight. Oh, a grand fight. A grand fight. Well, let's get him ready. Fish on, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. It hit like a ton. It's turned nasty on us here. So we've come out to deeper water. I believe that the storm has chased them out. Oh wow. Let's see how big he is in a second here. Nice one. It's, it's a, a big walleye. walleye. It's a big walleye. Very nice one. Well, how do you like that, folks? That's a good walleye. They say you can't take walleye on the fly. Well, I think we just proved them wrong. Good. Now, walleye on the fly. Now this lake has a lot of walleye in it. Now I'm not targeting them, but uh, they do uh, inhabit the same areas as, as the pike. And we've come on out to deeper water because of this, this rain situation. It's, uh, it's definitely put a damper on them in, in close, so we've decided to come out and try it deeper and it's worked very well for us. We got him. Got him right there. Oh yeah. Good one. It's a good fish. 
Good fish, yeah. Oh, another gator, another gator. Oh, yeah. And he took her deep. Yes, sir. Very, very nice. Not as big as the other ones, but this is, this is a good one. Here we go. Thought it was a little bigger than it was, but I'm pretty happy with that. And there he goes. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show and make KB Lake one of your next destinations. For more information on this show and others in our series, visit us on the web at thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us here at The New Fly Fisher, thanks for joining us. Tight lines and we'll see you next time. The New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Algoma Country, That Real. Ontario, yours to discover. Orvis Sporting Traditions. Islander Precision Reels. Rail Riders Outdoor Clothing, the toughest clothes on the planet. Net Staff, the world's first wading staff and net. To learn more about the New Fly Fisher, our locations, contests, news, and much more, come visit and like us on Facebook.